I got the MindLab Manticore metal detector here. And now I'm gonna tell you all there is to know about the physical properties of the detector, the outside, how it's built, the construction, the shaft, the coil, everything. Let's put this guy down on the table and let's get started. Woo! I figured that the best way to show off the new features and improvements on the MindLab Manticore is to compare it to the earlier model the Equinox 800, which I have used for many, many, many years. Excellent machine, that one. But here, total, totally new features. At first glance, it might look quite similar, but when you pay some attention, you see that most of the things have been reworked. So, let's see. We have a carbon shaft fiber, which makes it more lightweight compared to Equinox metallic shaft. Carbon shaft is superior, of course. That is cool. It saves on the weight, which is nice when you swing 10 hours a day. The coil is very different. This one has more of a spider web pattern. I think it's to increase stability, but I'm not sure. But both are 11 inch coils. One of the problems with the Equinox series, at least the earlier models, was that the part that connected the shaft to the coil sometimes snapped here. But the Australian engineers have reworked that completely to try to prevent it. And they have a new configuration here, a new system, and it looks dirty, probably won't snap, even for a rough user like me. So that's nice to see, see a change there. And we have a cable. Just like in the Equinox, it goes and connects to the unit here, the computer there. And here you can plug in the headphones, the waterproof headphones if you go underwater detecting. And charging cable goes there with the magnetic attachment, it goes snap. And let's see what's on the other side. The panel is completely reworked. We have one, two, three, four, five, six buttons instead of eight buttons. The adjustable armrest, which is a new feature. So you flip that and then you can, can uh, make it shorter or longer, depending on your arm length, of course, like that. And then snap and it is steady in place. One thing that I love about the new design is this. Look how easy. Flip that open and then you can just sharpen the coil. On the Equinox you had to, let's see, you had to hold down this metallic part while twisting this. It kind of worked, but it was awkward. Here it's easy. And there's two of them, which means that you can make it really, really, really short. This will fit in your backpack or you could go diving with it and keeping it really short and close to the bottom of the sea. Super easy to handle even with even one-handed while operating a camera. There we go. Easy peasy. I love that. Really cool. And talking about diving and being in water, sometimes you would get sand stuck in the tube, in the shaft itself. But now, look at how smart the Aussies are. You can flip that open, hose down with water if there's any sand, or just shake it and, and the sand will come up, come out. And then you just plug it in. Very small thing, but massive improvement. I love this little tiny detail. Uh, what else? Grip, yes. Grip is way, way better here. I have big Viking hands, but I can say that after 10 hours swinging this, it was kind of not that nice for your hand. And I can think, I can imagine if you have a smaller hand that this would be really problematic. But here it's just more ergonomic. I like this one way more. There's a few cool features here like the Flashlight, for example, I'm not gonna go so much into the 
settings and the computer. That's gonna be other videos that you can check out later, but I'm just gonna show you a few things. If you go to the light menu and uh, let's go down to the flashlight and you can see that there's a flashlight there with, which shines directly on the coil which must be super nice when you're diving or hunting in the dark. And there's one more feature that is quite interesting, which at first at first I couldn't really figure out why they why they put that on the machine, but when I was thinking about it a little bit, it kind of makes sense. Here we go. Vibration. I can turn on the vibration. And now when I get a target, find a signal, the handle shakes. You can't feel it now, but it kind of feels like a vibrator. But I'm also thinking that, hey, when you're diving, it can be nice. And yeah, by the way, the machine is much sturdier. Like, for example, everything just feels sturdier and more unbreakable. I'm making a whole bunch of videos about the Manticore the properties, the settings, the physical machine itself. So if you're interested in any of those, make sure to check them out. But thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.